Hey y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. In today's video, I dig a bunch of petrified wood out of a creek bank and find that most of the petrified wood is ensnared in live tree roots. So that's kind of cool. So I've just been walking, but look what I just found. I'm gonna have to switch the perspective, hold on. Okay. Um, that looks like, I'm guessing a grape leaf, maybe this was a wine bottle or something, but it's like, I don't know if you can tell, I can't tell <laughs> holding it up, but it's a, it's a plum color, very dark purple, very pretty. But I was over here earlier um, taking pictures of a woodpecker that was in this tree right here. So I know there's a piece right under the tree. That's going to look kind of cool. And I love this tree. I'm gonna see, I don't know if you can see all of this right here. Those are thorns. And um, you can see through there, they come right off the trunk. There you go, that's a better. It's just gorgeous, it's one of my favorite trees. Here we go, this one's beautiful. Um, for lots that had been purchased, This is another one that I think is part of a root. I guess I'll just keep walking around and I mean, normally the construction guys get all the great stuff, but there's always going to be more for me to grab too. This one's big. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, fully agatized. Now this one kind of confused me because it was chalky when I pulled it out. And then when I got it wet, I honestly thought the entire thing was common opal. And now it's chalky again. <laughs> but it does have a lot of chalcedony on it in a couple of places but it's very chalky and I don't know, leaves I don't know, it's just weird it's kind of like what I was talking about um, with uh, my last video how just the sheer variety of of types of wood you find even within the same location is just very uh, interesting to me and here some SCA glass. I don't know how well you can tell the purple color. So that means that it's at least 100 years old. 60, 60 seconds, seconds of science, science stuff. stuff. Manganese was added to glass beginning with early Egyptian history. It's added in small amounts to remove the yellow tint caused by soda, iron, and lime impurities. The color wheel shows how purple is the opposite of yellow, so the manganese offsets it as a decolorizing element, rendering the glass clear. When glass containing manganese is exposed to UV light for extended periods of time, it will oxidize the manganese, causing it to turn purple. Manganese oxide was commonly used from the 1880s until 1915, but some pieces were made up until the 30s. At that point, cheaper decolorants were discovered and the switch was made. Don't assume the SCA color is natural. It usually takes at least a couple of years, but there are people who use strong UV lights or irradiate the glass to accelerate or enhance the color. 60, 60 seconds, seconds of, of science, science stuff. stuff. 
I don't know if you can tell, but every one of these little shard looking things, all of that is petrified wood. And there's not just a whole lot I can do about it. There may be some pieces with great mineralization and I may come back and get in the creek tomorrow. But I'm not going to do it tonight. It's getting too dark. And there are all these pieces over here that people have pulled out. So definitely cool. So I just found this one. It's got a really pretty color. gonna be pretty. I can't wait to clean this stuff up. There it is again. Y'all have got to leave me a comment if you know otherwise I'm gonna have to do all the research myself. What? The color on this one's pretty stunning. It's got a little bit of druzy right here. just wood. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel. If you're not yet and you'd like to be, why don't you hit the subscribe button? And if you click the notification bell, you'll get notified from YouTube every time I upload a new video. This is a really old tree with irises growing around it, which proves even more that people were, there was an old home site here. These were probably in a garden or they were in a garden upstream somewhere and uh, came down here. Okay, y'all, so I figured out what was going on. This tree here grew around a petrified stump and log and who knows what else. I think someone came in here and took it, the bulk of it, which is perfectly normal you know, for construction sites. Um, and, you know, that's fine. So I'm just going to come and take what I can. <laughs> so there are some pieces up there too that look real nice. But, um, you know, I can take my time and look around here and find pieces that have uh, inclusions and veins and just have a good time. So that's what I'm going to do. So I finally did it. I finally found something that's more or less like a limb or a vine. A whole piece with bark all the way around it. I'm very excited about that. I know I don't sound like it, but I'm trying to be kind of quiet. And then here's another one that's most definitely of root type. <laughs> I've been digging for a while and just getting as much of this huge tree out as I can. Um, but I mean, there's no way I can save enough of this. There's that piece right there with a ton of chalcedony on the end. It's absolutely gorgeous, completely grown into the tree. I can't get it out. Um, at least not with just one digging tool. But there's a lot here for the taking. I put a call out to my friends to see if anybody wants to come out here tomorrow and dig as much of this stuff as they can so we'll see if anybody gets back with me in the meantime it's getting pretty dark so I think I'm gonna start packing things up I don't want to be out here at night just because the actual creek bed is really really muddy and I don't want to get my boots stuck in it so I think I'm gonna pack it up and um, call it done for the night come back tomorrow this is one of the biggest pieces I found. Uh, I really like it because it's knobby right here. Um, it has uh, veins of chalcedony running through it right here. Um, which comes up this way and around here. There's some more 
chalcedony right in there. But it's mostly just flat. That looks really cool. sure you can see why I like this one so much it's really sparkly the mineralization is really cool on this one right there So I thought this was the only one that had it when I was actually digging, but look at the chunk of chalcedony on this one. They're just gorgeous. I've never done it before, but I was thinking about taking, chipping this off and turning it into a necklace. I like the weathered pattern on this. All the little cracks and voids in this one have little chunks of chalcedony in it too, but they're not that big. It's just a really cool pattern. I love it. I think that's part of a root. And I don't know how well you can tell how much chalcedony is in this one. It's so pretty. Well, y'all, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed watching today, and I hope you'll join me next week when I do more stuff. Bye. Ooh, nice roots, Angie. Next week's video, Angie finally dyes her hair again.